Atomic structure. This topic is in every specification as it is one of the most important fundamental ideas in chemistry. Atoms are the building blocks of everything around you. Inside an atom is the nucleus and inside the nucleus are protons and neutrons. Orbiting around the nucleus, rather like the Earth orbits the Sun, are electrons. These are in energy levels or shells. The first energy level can hold up to two electrons. The second energy level can hold up to eight electrons. It gets more complicated when we get to the third energy level, which I'll explain in my electron configuration video scribe. The particles within an atom are called subatomic particles and have a mass and a charge. Protons have a relative mass of one and a charge of plus one. They are positive. Neutrons have a relative mass of one, but they don't have a charge. They have a charge of zero. Electrons have a negligible mass. That means they have a very, very small mass. But they do have a charge, which is minus one. Electrons are negative. So what do I mean by relative mass? Well, one proton has the same mass as one neutron. However, one proton has the same mass as 1,836 electrons. So electrons are very, very small, hence the name negligible mass. So how do we know how many protons, neutrons and electrons are in the hundred or so elements on this planet? We look it up in the periodic table. Look for the chemical symbol of the element, that's the capital letter or a capital letter and lowercase. The top number is the atomic mass. This is the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. This is also known as the AR. The bottom number is the atomic number, which is the number of protons. So let's have a look at hydrogen. Hydrogen has one proton, no neutrons and one electron. In an atom, the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons. So just look at the bottom number if you want to know how many electrons are in an atom. An atom has no overall charge. Now let's look at helium. It has an atomic mass of four and an atomic number of two. What does this mean? It's got two protons, so it must have two electrons as atoms have no overall charge. If it's got two protons, it must have two neutrons, as two plus two equals four. Don't forget the mass of an atom comes from its protons and neutrons, so just take away the bottom number from the top number to get the number of neutrons. Now let's try some questions to assess your understanding. How many protons does an atom of sodium have? The answer is 11. Just look at the bottom number. More difficult question now. How many neutrons does an atom of aluminium have? The answer is 14. Just take the bottom number away from the top number. So 27 take away 13 protons equals 14 neutrons. I hope this helps you understand this topic. For more video scribes, visit www.icanlearnto.com. Thanks for watching.